I'm going to be showing you a demo of how you can use the book title override module. Now, book title override is kind of a confusing word, but basically what it lets you do, if you look at the screenshot here, is it gives you the ability to check a box and get a title to use in place of the default title. So one of the advantages to using books is that it automatically generates an outline as you go, um, and it mirrors the title of the page to the title of the item in the book. This is one of the major differences between books and menus in Drupal. But sometimes you want to override that title, especially if you're building a course. <laughs> so let's show how you can actually use this. So once you download the module, you're going to turn it on. And the only requirement is the book module. So you can see I have this link here. It says things. I'm going to hit edit. You'll see I get a override book title is checked. And so in here, even though the title of the page could be things, the override title could be stuff and whatnot. And you see that I would save. And now I get stuff and whatnot over here, but yet things is still the title of the page. We can then go and hit edit and uncheck override, go down and hit save, and it'll revert back to what the normal title is. So very simple project, but adds a lot of flexibility to the books module. So you can see we go down, we have my new title pages. The reason that this was added in the first place is let's say this for whatever reason is the title that you want to put in a book for some reason, right? So you can have a pretty ridiculous title. I obviously don't want that to be the full title. Maybe I just want this to be, let's say, This is effectively the use case, because you see, if I put that one in and check that box, I get this ridiculousness. And then, you know, let's say we nest something under there, this can start to get pretty crazy looking. Um, so you still get all the advantages of bulk over menu um, in terms of pagination, things like that. Um, something else that's really nice about this that I just kind of noticed was, let's say, let's do this and let's say, save, it actually alters the title here. And see, I shouldn't have put that character in, but <laughs> it alters the title here to match what that previous thing was. Uh, so let's show this in Drupal 6 then. Go to Drupal 6 site. Uh, this provides a little more context to the course. So we've got this lesson 2A, but yet the title of the page is actually lesson 2A in Music Fundamentals. And we can have the override title be lesson 2A so that the navigation doesn't get kind of crazy. Showing this in Elms, because why not? It's all very similar. Go, edit. How is music tied to culture? Let's override this. And we'll just say, maybe a short title, music tied culture. Save that. And now we'll have a nice short title in this one. So little things like this that you can do to drastically clean up your navigation here. Uh, something also, that's also nice you'll notice, um, breadcrumb trail becomes a lot more compact. And so you see it's music tied to the culture instead of a page title. So little usability things that can go a long way.